Hello, my name is Owen Romney. Uh, I'm an open source developer at Aqua Security. In this short video, I'm going to talk about the TFSEC Serif GitHub action. So what that does is it will run TFSEC as normal. Um, it, it'll run it against your PR or it'll run against your um, any branch you specify in the in the action. So you could run it as part of a cron. Um, and what it'll do is it will run TFSEC with the format set to Serif. And then there's a second step in the action, which will upload it into uh, the GitHub security tab. So that's where the code analysis section will um, register any issues, depending on what's what's in the Serif output. Um, so briefly, Serif is a, a security format, interchange format that GitHub have opted to use for their for their code analysis um, approach. So what we'll do is we'll uh, we'll use a new repository. We'll add the action, write a bit of Terraform that we know is going to fail, and then just see what it actually does within uh, GitHub itself. So with that, let's get started. So the first thing we're going to do, I've already created a uh, repository. This is my Serif example, just created it. All it's got, it's got a ignore file, a license, and a readme. So the first thing that we're going to want to do is clone that. So let's bring that into VS Code. And it's the Serif example, and it's going to go into my GitHub folder. So that's it cloned. So we can now open it. What do we want to do? So we need to add the actual uh, workflow itself. So first of all, that needs to go into GitHub workflows. And then let's call this our Serif report.yaml. Now, what, what does it actually look like? So if we go back to our browser, we can look at it in the marketplace. And there's a nice example of what we use. And this default one is more than adequate to get started. So let's paste that in. So we'll change the name. This is going to be a run tfsec serif report. Uh, my default branch is actually master. So let's put it so it runs on master, and it'll also run on pull requests. Then we've got our TFSEC job, so we'll call that, um, yeah, that's fine, Serif report. And then we've got run report. So what does this actually do? First step, it clones the repository. Um, then the next step is it actually runs this action itself, the, the TFSEC Serif action. Um, and what that'll do is it'll just run TFSEC as normal, but it'll have the additional formatting set for Serif. Then the last step, Google, uh, Google GitHub provide us with an action that can be used to upload Serif. So we're just going to use that. And we're going to make sure that the Serif file on the upload action matches the Serif file on the report action. So that's everything we actually need on this. So if we um, create a new branch, so we'll do a git checkout adding workflow. And then we can git add .github. And then we can do a git commit adding the workflow for Serif. OK, so we're, we're ready to go as far as that. But we haven't actually got any HCL here. We haven't got any Terraform to run our check against. So the next thing, we'll create something we know is going to break. Uh, I'm going to go with your favorite and just do a bucket. Um, so we'll create an S3 bucket, and it'll be a resource, AWS S3 bucket. And we'll call it bad bucket, because it's going to have problems. So the first thing we need is a name. So that's bucket. And uh, it's bad bucket. I think it needs to be a hyphen, actually. Um, let's have an ACL. So we'll go for an ACL of authenticated read. Um, we'll put some logging on it. So we're going to have a target bucket of, uh, let's call it, uh, let's pretend that we've got a access logs bucket in here. And then the prefix is going to be a target prefix prefix of uh, bad 
Fuck it. Logging. Okay, last thing um, we can do, we'll put a bit of encryption on here. So let's have a server-side encryption. Now this has changed in um, in version four of the AWS provider, but we're gonna just do it as if it's prior to that. Uh, in version four, they've actually moved this out into its own specific um, Terraform resource that you, you associate with the bucket. So we'll create a rule and then we're going to have an apply server side encryption. Auto complete would be great here by default. And we're going to set the algorithm to AES256. Okay, so let's get rid of that. So, what have we got? We've got our bucket name, we've got an ACL, we've got logging, and we've got encryption set. So, if we just do a Terraform format tidy that up a bit, git status, and then so we're going to add that, so we'll do a git add s3 bucket, then we'll do a git commit m adding some dubious terraform, and then if we git push, that's going to tell us to do a git push set upstream origin adding workflow. Okay, cool. So that will now be up in our browser, ready for us to go. So if we go back there, we can check the branch and we'll create a pull request and do that. So now we're gonna see in a second, um, if I refresh the page, we're gonna see the check. So we can just go to the details of that So like, just going over what this does again, it's going to clone the repo, then it's going to run tfsec as normal as if you were doing it on your own machine, um, but it's going to pass it the dash f for format and tell it serif. And then the output report, it's going to push that up to the security tab. So what is the security tab? So in fact, let's go through the, through the PR. So we can see that our code scanning results has failed. So if we hit details, we can see in um, in the code scanning results, which is the equivalent to go through security, we can see that we've got a failure. Now, if we go to the security tab and then code scanning alerts, sorry, yep, sorry, my bad, come through here. Here we can see all of the issues that um, have been found. So um, what have we got? We've got encryption. We can show more details in this one. So this is saying that um, our encryption should be using customer managed keys. And that's not really too high an issue. Um, what else have we got? We've got S3 bucket's not publicly accessible, so let's have a look at that one. So this one is saying the bucket is exposed to all Adorus accounts because we've used authenticated read, so we probably ought to be changing that. And let's just pick another one, what else have we got? S3 data should be versioned, so this is telling us, it's just a warning, it's not that big a deal, but it's telling us that we should probably be versioning um, our S3 buckets. So that's essentially the output that you're going to be getting from uh, your code scanning. Um, what else does it do? So we've got some additional options. If you are a TFSEC user, you'll be aware that there's a quite a large number of command line options you can use. Things like um, the minimum, uh, the minimum severity that you want to report on. So you can say, I'm only, I only care about things that are above medium. Uh, you could say that you want to bypass all of the ignores that you've put in so that it has everything found. Um, so you would use those in the TSEC arcs and you would just space separate them. Uh, another option, you might have a config file and in that config file you might have excludes. So you might be saying that, um, that if there's a particular check that you don't particularly care about, you can put that in a config file as an exclude. And then if you just use the config file setting in the action, 
then uh, you can load that in. And the last one is a full repo scan. So you could use a TFSEC arc of dash dash force all days, or you can just use the quick full repo scan, um, is true, and that will uh, scan um, that will scan every piece of Terraform it finds in your project, uh, regardless of whether it's heavily nested or you've got top level items. Um, so yeah, that is essentially this uh, this this GitHub action. Um, it works on public repositories, and it works if you've got a paid for account with GitHub. Um, you can't use it on, or certainly um, at the moment, you can't use it on a private repository unless you've got a paid for account. Okay, that's great. Um, Thanks for watching. If you have any issues, raise an issue on uh, GitHub and um, we'll be happy to look into that. Thanks very much.